Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Sunday, May 1st. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're new here, I'd like to say welcome and let you know that this channel is about knitting, crochet, and yarn. And if you're returning, I'd like to say welcome back. So today I have one finished object and six works in progress to share with you. Okay, so let's just get started. So this is my one and only finished object. It's an amigurumi. It's a cardinal. I made this for my mother for Mother's Day. Um, she doesn't usually watch. Hopefully she's not watching now. Uh, fingers crossed. But here it is, my one and only finished object. And this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Uh, but I, I didn't print the pattern out, so I don't. I did, and I didn't write down the name of the pattern or who wrote the pattern, um, but I will link that all down below. And I made this with scrap yarn. It's all um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn, which is acrylic. And yep, that's about it. I don't remember the hook size I used. It was probably, um, no, it may have been a four millimeter. It may have been a 3.75. I'm not exactly sure. So here it is, here's a card. Here's my cardinal, and I'll be sending that off to my mother in the mail tomorrow. So now I will share my works in progress with you. And let's see, <clears throat> I think I only started one new thing since last time, and I'm not sure which bag it's in, so let's just go ahead and just start grabbing bags, and I'll show you the progress that I've made on these works in progress. So this bag is my T is a T Doddles bag. And in it is a cowl, a knit cowl. And this is kind of I have a lot of knitting going on. Um I have just one other works in progress that's crochet and all the others are knitting. But this is a knit cowl that you've seen before. And here it is. Let me get the yarn out of the way. Here it is. And I'm not sure, I have a progress keeper here, but I'm not really sure. I don't think I, I'm not sure that that's all of what I've knit this past week. I think I forgot to move it last time I showed it. But anyway, here it is. So the yarn is actually a gradient yarn. Um, and it's, I don't know if you can tell, it's subtly, subtly starting to change colors. And here it is. Let's see. So this would be more of the front of it, yeah. So there it is. And the pattern that I'm using, this is the Crooked U Cowl by Paula Iman's Fusel. Here it is. And this um, uh, this pattern is no longer available. I got it from the Barrett Wool Company website. It was a, a kit. It included the pattern and the yarn and I think a few other small goodies. It had some stitch markers in it and some, um, I think a coaster. But anyway, the pattern itself is no longer on Ravelry. So, and then the yarn, I showed you the yarn. Here it is, what I have left. And the name of the yarn, which I think, I'm not sure. I know you can get this on her website. I'm not sure if you can get the gradient on her website. Um, it's Barrett Wool Company. It's Susan B. Anderson's website. She sells a lot of kits and she does sell um, some yarn. And this is the yarn. It is the Wisconsin Woolen Spun Even Fall. It's 100% American wool. And this one is called Penny Gradient. It is, let's see, it's fingering weight yarn, 450 yards, 114 grams. I think that is it, that is all. And the, I am using, the needles I'm using, <clears throat> Uh, four millimeter needles. These are my Haya Haya uh, interchangeable. So there is that works in progress. So I really enjoy working on this very much. 
All right. So there is that one. And the next one is in this bag. This is the Frog Peak Creations bag. I don't think they sell bags anymore. Um, yes, this is a sock, a knit sock. And here is the sock. So the last time it was still on the needles, but it is off the needles now temporarily. I just have to put the heel in. I do an afterthought heel and I will put it in right here. That's where I put placement for the heel. So here it is so far. And the yarn that I'm using, and this is just a vanilla sock. Um, I, I do a two by two rib for 15 rounds. And then for the sock, so I like kind of a shorty sock. So this will be the, the let the ankle part. I don't like them too, too long. <clears throat> and I think I knit all of this. I don't know. I sort of estimated it to be around between 90 and a hundred rounds. So there it is. You can get a good look at the yarn and the yarn is paint box yarns. Here's the label. And this is what I have so far. And I don't know if you can tell, I don't know what it, does it look, it's blue. It's got, it's blue speckles. Um, I don't know how well that's showing up for y'all, but it's, yeah, it's blue speckles. The name of it is pixel newsprint. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink. And it's a hundred grams. 426 yards, 75% wool, superwash wool, and 25% polyamide. <clears throat> and I did these on DPNs. Where's the other one? <clears throat> I normally do magic loop, but I'm enjoying this. So here are the DPNs that I'm using. These are um, Knitter's Pride Zings, and I use a 2.25 for my socks. So there is that. Okay, so my next works in progress is in this bag and it's another knit sock. This is Molly Klein Designs bag. Um, she has a shop on Etsy. She sells wonderful project bags and beautiful yarn. So I'll link her below as well. You should go check out her her Etsy shop, she's got some lovely stuff. So this is another knit sock. And I did say on my last um, podcast uh, that I was going to rip this sock out, but I didn't because it's just too pretty. It's kind of, I'm not, the yarn is kind of weird. I'm not really enjoying knitting it. I tried changing knitting needles. Um, at first it didn't seem like it helped, but it is helping a little bit, but I don't know. It's just too pretty to, I just can't seem to rip it out. So anyway, I have finished this part of the sock. See the pattern? I do have to put the heel in. That's where I'm going to put the heel in. I'm going to do afterthought heel, but here's the sock. Doesn't it look pretty? It just looks so pretty. So yeah. And the pattern that I'm using is a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's called Will of the Wisp. So here it is. And the yarn is a Knit Picks yarn. Here it is, what I have left. See the, the speckles of like gray and yellow or kind of orangey yellow. So this is their Hawthorne fingering weight and the colorway is Spark Speckle. It is 357 yards, 100 grams, 80% superwash fine, Highland wool, 20% polyamide. And it feels lovely. Um, I don't know, <clears throat> I've said it before, it feels like it's got cotton in it. It's not as stretchy as other, you know, yarn knit socks that I've, you know, you knit with and stuff, 
but there it is in all of these stitch markers so um it's a 12 row repeat and so every time i do a new repeat i put in a stitch marker so that way when i go to do my second sock i will um you know i will know how many repeats to put in it and that way because counting uh you know using a row counter or marking i will totally forget to do that and i'll be off so there is that and it does call for a heel flapping gusset but uh, those take forever so i'm just going to do afterthought heel because they're super quick and i'm not really sure if i'm going to do a different color for the heel or just use the same yarn i'll probably use the same yarn and this i am knitting magic loop which is what i normally do um and this is i ended up at first i had these on my addy rockets um it just felt like the yarn in combination with because the addies are nickel plated um the finish on the needles are nickel plated and it was just usually addies are real real quick but this i don't know it just the combination wasn't working so these are my high high sharps 2.25 um, on a 40 inch cord and it is working a little bit better but it's still it's still not you know it's still weird the yarn is just weird but anyway I just love these I think they're so pretty I just couldn't stop so that is that works in progress okay and my next one this is in my a cottontail farm bag. Which one is this? Oh yes. So this is, I'm way far behind on this. This is an MCAL. I can't remember when it started. I didn't start it um, when it started, but it has started and stopped a while ago, but that's all right. And this is the As You Wish MCAL by Lyrical Knits. Um, so it's not really a picture of the shawl because, that, uh, you know, it started out as a mystery knit along. So it's not actually a um, picture of the shawl like, on the um, cover of the pattern. But I will link it down below so you can go and have a look on Ravelry. <clears throat> so this is what I have done on it so far. So this is it. And where the stitch marker is where I stopped last time. So I have done all of this. These, this is where the needles are. So I have done from the stitch marker up, I've done all of that. Um, all of this area and that area and and up. It is an interesting construction. I'm really enjoying this. I love it. I have a picture of it on my Instagram um, laid out so you can get a better look at it. But it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a wrap. A long rectangle shape. There it is. Um some cool stitches in it there's that and then there was this um and this so I'm, I'm happy with it I love these colors together um most of the shawls there's not any very most of the, it's it says not to have anything really variegated or highly variegated and you have to have um, it's it calls for four um, four skeins of fingering weight yarn um, let's see color one and color two is that right have to contrast each other and color three color four have to contrast each other so basically the pink and this color yarn this variegated I chose to contrast each other and then the blue and this brown our whiskey color to contrast each other and I don't I don't mind it like here but it's not you it's not as defined maybe this was a a bit too variegated but I actually I really love the look of it 
I just hope that, it, you know, it will show off the pattern good. So, like I said, there's four yarns, and I'm using a Big Sky, <clears throat> Big Sky Yarn Company, and here are all the yarns I'm using. Here they are, these two. Can I do this? So, oh, here they are. These four yarns. Okay, so I'm gonna drop one of the labels. So let's start with this one. This one here, it is in the colorway granite and it is on this and her star sock base, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 463 yards for 100 grams. Here's their label. They have an Etsy shop. I think they might even have a website as well. Yeah, it says all here. So it has it all there on the yarn label. But this is what their label looks like. And so all the yarns, it's the same specs. This one is, what did I say it was? Granite. That one is granite. <clears throat> this one here is, which one? Mr. Beam, and this one here is Powder Room. And then my favorite of them all is Japanese Maple. And I've looked on there, I've looked on Etsy to, in their shop to see if they, I don't see any more of this. I would love to get more of this. I love that. That one's my favorite. And then I am using for um, the knitting needles I'm using are four millimeter and at various times in the shawl, I think I've shown it before you saw that I've had two needles, two sets of needles <coughs> on, on the shawl. Um, right now it's just on one, but sometimes you have to hold some stitches and like knit on, you know, so you have a needle over here and a needle over there. Basically, one set of needles is holding stitches while you work on the other side. But there it is. And I'm very much enjoying it. There's a lot of ends so far, but I've been using the Weave and Steven, which I've never, I've never used before. I think, I well, I used it on my, on that, um, the cable trellis shawl. And it seems to do fine, but I'm not, that's, that was, I think the first time I've used it and I'm using it now and hopefully it will hold, it will hold the ends in well enough. Ooh, cross my fingers. So that's that works in progress. Oh, these don't belong in there. So I have two more. I just kind of want to clean up as I go a little bit so I don't mix anything up with each other. All right, so I think I'll leave the new um, works in progress to last. So this one is in this bag. It's the Twist Fiber Studio bag. And this is crochet, it's a crochet cowl. It was my second cowl. I love to make cowls. And I'll show you the pattern first. This is a paid for pattern. And it is Through the Rain Cowl. By Isabella Tonsky of Fiber and Fox. She has a YouTube channel. And she's a crochet designer. And she has some really awesome crochet patterns. She also knits and buys beautiful yarns. And she's from Connecticut. I'm originally from Connecticut, so give her a bit of support. She's adorable, and she's going to have a baby soon. So this is the cowl, the progress I've made on the cowl. I love this. No, let me... I want to make sure I show the front. 
this. So here it is. And where that, can you see the stitch marker? That's where I was last time I showed it. So I've crocheted all of this. Is it, is it showing okay? Can you see the effects of it? I love it. It's um, her and in the pattern, it, it has directions if you want to use mini skeins. So it basically, you have your main color, which I chose this pink. And then I chose just two colors because mini skeins, I love them, but that requires more ends to weave in. But she has it, um, it's, um, if you see on hers, the different colors, she used mini skeins or, you know, not necessarily mini skeins, you don't have to, just either your scrap yarn or whatever, but she gives you directions on how many rows. <clears throat> so she'll, she'll say use color one for this many rows and then switch to color two. But I, I'm not doing it that way. I'm just using two colors. I hope you can see that. I love it. I absolutely love this. I can see a lot of times I don't like to do more than a pattern more than once, you know, unless it's like socks or something, but I could see all kinds of um, different variations of this cowl with scraps and minis. And so hopefully I will do this again. All right, so the yarn, here are the yarns that I'm using. This is the main color. That's the contrasting color. And okay, so this this color here is called Dolly Levi or Levy. It is from Cedar Hill Farm Company. Who she's not dyeing yarn anymore. It's on your it's on her rocket sock base. Four ply fingering weight, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams. 463 yards and then this yarn is Hobby Lobby yarn I gotta tell you it's very nice for you know a big box yarn it is it's really nice it's yarn B authentic hand dyed tonal and the colorway is tabby it's 100% superwash merino wool 100 grams 420 meters and that's the label and it's really nice it's very nice and then the hook I'm using for this is a 3.75 my tulips which I have to say I really love these hooks I think these are my favorites clovers are close second they're very similar but I really I oh I really gravitate towards these and then I have a nice little pouch where they're all stored in and I go if I can't account, I love these so much. If I can't account, if there's, if I look in there and there's any crochet hooks missing, I have to be able to say, okay, I know where that hook is or else I tear everything apart looking for it. Cause I love these. I don't want anything to happen to them. <clears throat> okay. So I have one more works in progress to share. And it is living in a... Oh, I should have got another skit. Oh, well. It's living in a Cottontail Farms bag. And this is a sweater for my granddaughter. I'll show the pattern first. It's a paper pattern on Ravelry. It is the Magnolia Mini. Um, and it, the designer is Camilla Vad. Oh, isn't it pretty? So it's a it's knit, obviously. I think you can tell. And here is the progress I have so far. It's gonna be hard to show because I haven't split for the sleeves yet, and it's all bunched up on a 16-inch circular needle. So it's gonna be really hard to show. I'm getting close to splitting for the sleeves, but it hasn't happened yet, so it doesn't really look like a sweater yet or I don't know what it looks like and I hope so that you know you make increases in that you can really see them on this yarn and I hope when I block it that that will block out so here it is so far and I think I have about 10 more rows to knit 
before I split for the sleeves. And the yarn, so this is all I have left of the first ball of yarn. But the yarn that I'm using is Barocco Vintage Baby. And this skein is a, or was, um, let's see, I think it was a 50 gram, 50 gram, yeah, 50 gram skein for 145 yards. It's a number three lightweight yarn. Um, the color is 10022. So you don't have colorway names on here. And it is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 8% nylon. And let's see, like I said, I have them on 16 inch circulars. There's way too many stitches, but I don't want to, um, when I split for the sleeves, if it still feels uncomfortable, I'll go up to a 24 inch cord, but I don't want to do that now because I can't imagine I'll be, I'll be putting too much. I mean, it's for a four year old. That's what I'm doing. A four year old, the smallest, it's not the smallest size. Um, cause they have the pattern, um, it's for children, but they have the pattern divided like, um, from like a newborn, I don't even know if it's zero to three months to like three years old and then three years old to, I think this pattern that I printed out is for three to, um, Um, three to 13 year old for, I'm sorry, four to five year old to 12 to 13 year old. So I can't imagine for a four year old that there's going to be a lot of stitches for the sleeve. So I'm, I don't know if it's going to make a much of a big difference once I split for the sleeves, how many stitches are left, but if it's still, this is just too crowded. I will switch to 24 inch circular. And so that's it. Did I say what size needle I'm using? Um, is it a four millimeter? Yes, a four millimeter. So that's it. So that is all my works in progress. And um, I don't have, well, I do have acquisitions to share, but I'm not gonna share in this video because it's too much. I'm going to make a separate video and so I don't, yeah, so I'm going to hold that off for a separate video, but so that's it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed the content and if you did, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, thumbs up and left me a comment. I will see you all very soon. I hope you all have a great week and that you enjoyed your weekend. Mother's Day is coming up here in the U.S. next weekend. So I will wish all the mothers a very happy Mother's Day in advance. Um, so that's it, guys. I will see you soon. And until then, I'm going to say bye.